Oh hey everybody, Dark Souls 6875 here, and welcome back to Heroes of the Storm. Today we are playing the newest character, Zul'jin, just added to the game, I want to say, a week ago. Uh, I'm a little late on this, unfortunately, as I've been very busy and just had a very hectic schedule. Uh, we're going to go ahead and hop into the game and talk about this character, uh, kind of what he is. He's the newest ranged assassin, and we'll kind of get in how his playstyle works. And even some characters he's even similar to from other MOBAs that I actually just started playing. Right, today we find ourselves on the Tomb of the Spider Queen. The friendly team, Illidan, Tracer, Chromi, Zul'jin, Azadan. The enemy team, Kerrigan, Murky, Rainer, Zeratul, Kael'thas. I, mm, I am very unsure how this match is going to go for me. I'm kind of afraid a bit of that Zeratul. So Rainer went for Season Marksman. He's probably going to go for the Hyperion build, which is bugged right now. At right, level 1, we're going to pick up You Want Axe. Every 5 basic attacks against the hero increases Zul'jin's basic attack damage by 1.5. After attacking 120 heroes, uh, or our heroes 120 times, and 120 heroes, his range is increased by 20%. As no, as no dad, I'll have blood stacks. Oh, good. Can you go? Oh, you have a taste for blood. Okay. If you've never seen Zul'jin before, his Q is called Grievous Throw. Zul'jin throws an axe forward, dealing 130 damage to the first two enemies hit, marking them for 8 seconds and then uh, we do 50% bonus damage from our next three auto attacks towards them. Why? What's... what? Okay, I'm gonna soak top if everybody's gonna fight mid or bottom. This W is called Twin Cleave. This is a circle kind of skill shot, so we're gonna throw it. Anybody? Ah! That, was, that was a troll. That was a troll noise. Right. Trade these. Wow! That was a very good trade for us. Kelthos, I'm going to ask you to stop that. It's going to allow us to slow enemies and deal a decent amount of damage. It's about 15%. It's a 15% slow. Does Kelthos know? Is he smart? Is he a smart cookie? Oh, well, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Ha ha! Surprise! Ah, shit. Nope. Uh, on our E, this is called regeneration, so we're just going to. Walk into here, we're gonna cast it, and we're gonna heal for a little bit. I'm not gonna spread this living bomb. Fuck you. Okay. Can I win this trade? Probably not. Oh, tickled. But we've killed the Zertal twice now, Jesus. Hell. Honestly, the length of this Kael'thas is out of man. I can fuck his day nine ways to Sunday. Do you know that I'm in here? Did you see me? Here comes Grummy. Well, before we're going to pick up, let the killing begin. Oh, he knows! <laughs> I'm still getting used to the on release. This is honestly one of the skill shots that I don't actually quick cast because it's kind of like an awkward skill shot, so I actually have it on release instead. Ah, uh, what the fuck? Lag. Now, let the killing begin is whenever we kill any like any enemies, it doesn't matter, minions, mercenaries, heroes, once we get five stacks, our attack speed has increased. So you, now you can see, I've killed five things, my attack speed is fucking increased by a hell of a lot. Hey, Kethos, can you, like... Go fuck yourself real quick, that'd be awesome. I'm gonna turn in actually. I got ten bucks. We are losing some trades here in the bottom line. Nobody's soaking mid. I guess I'll go do that real quick. Hi, Mark. Oh, hi, Rainer. Am I dead? Yeah, I'm dead as fuck. He's gonna queue. Or Rainer's just gonna auto attack me. Is that a kill on Rainer? Okay, worth. As long as they lose those butts, defend those butts against the enemies. To let KT get the you let KT get the butts. Tracer, I am disappointed. Illidan's dead. Everybody's just fucking dying in this game, even though there's only there's only like fucking 13 deaths, but it feels like somebody's died like every 30 seconds. It was just 13 deaths in four minutes. Not even. That's a fuck ton of death. I think this guy already used his teleport. Have a slow. Oh, what the? No, what the? Fuck! I'm dead as shit. Where did they all come from? 
I wasn't paying attention to my mini map. You should generally don't you know, don't follow my uh don't, don't do as I do. Do as I say, not as I do. Because I wasn't paying attention to the mini map. That could have been avoided. Why is nobody in the bottom lane soaking? Okay, as we at least put a general. I'm gonna go bot. Fuck this noise. I'm going bot. Let's see, we are level 7 now. I'm going to pick up Reckless while well, Zuljin is below 50% health. His basic attack damage is increased by 25%. Is this a, a Zeratul that's landing? Oh, buddy, how's it going? How are you, how you in? How's your mom? Go fuck yourself. You going to turn in? Are you going to turn in? Are you here? No, you're not turning in. Okay, weird. Yep. Okay, well, I'm just gonna casually, like, fuck this lane over, if you don't mind. Uh, get rid of their sipping. So increasing our attack speed with our passive, which will take away part of our health while we use it. But we just get a free fucking for it. Fuck their vision. Oh, um, okay. Um, um, you tried. Bye. Fuck off, please. I feel bad for dying to her earlier. Oh, look. It's the lovers that can't be. Rainer and Kerrigan. At least I don't think so. I still need to finish Legacy of the Void. I don't know if that has anything to do with their storyline. I'm still gonna push bot, get some XP for the friendly team, see if we can hit level 9 before the enemy team can. But it does look like there's a fight going on, so I might want to help. Uh, what the hell's going on here? Tracer and Chromie are low. Bot! <laughs> That's a kill. This is also a kill. Hey, that's a murky puffer fish. I'm gonna go top. We're going to pick up Taz Dingo. This is going to allow ourselves to essentially become invo uh, not able to die for f four seconds, I believe. He was almost dead as shit. We got a pretty wow. That's a hunt. I was I wasn't even prepared for that hunt. We'll go ahead and I guess just take mid fort like it's nobody's goddamn business. This is kind of pathetic. We killed Murky's egg. I didn't even know it was there. Possibly rip KT. I'm gonna focus on the building. Wow. They couldn't even kill him. Holy shit. We're just gonna keep soaking. We are officially a level up on the enemy team. So. It is worth mentioning that Zul'jin has absolutely no escape mechanics. You have no way to get out of a sticky situation where you're CC'd like this. I'm... Wow. What the fuck? Bye! Okay. This was fun. Oh. I've been Void Prison. Sweet. Am I dead though? Yeah, I'm dead as shit. Oh, it didn't stop my Tazdingo! Did not know that! This Rain is like standing in all the chromey shit. Oh, that's a Pyroblast. Poor little crummy. Rip you. But we're still, you know, and level up on, almost level up on the enemy team. They're gonna catch up here soon, just like that. Reaching through time, increase same blast damage. I wonder if she can really abide by. The enemy team has spawned Web Weavers! What is, what, you, you got the black pool. What are you, what, what's going on here? Your body blocking. What the fuck is going on here? They do realize how much health Asmodan has, right? Like, or do they not know that? That's, that's a kill. That's another kill. <laughs> this Kerrigan and Ranger just kind of get out, out of position way too much. Gonna not get hit by that. Okay. Going really fucking deep for this kill. I'm gonna go ahead and heal myself because fuck this noise. 
Can you stop? That's fucking great. Okay, bye. We're going to pick up Eye of Zul'jin. Grievous Throw can grant movement speed. We do have to hit a hero with it, though. For fuck's sake! Wait, I thought you were... Wait, I thought you went... Wait, what? This is Egg? Did he die and spawn down here? Or... I thought I saw him going up. Maybe it was just Zeratul. I'm getting outplayed by a goddamn Murky. What the fuck? I am... What the fuck? Um, yet again, Rainer's just kind of trying to poke at an Asmodan. For no apparent reason. Uh, Tracer's just kiting away Murky and a... Tr uh, Kerrigan, I... Almost said Cigar. I... Just... Fucking Chromie almost saved herself. Almost. So close. Ripper any. We are fighting in the Hyperion, which is bad. What the fuck? I... I don't know what the fuck's going on in this game anymore. I thought I did. I wish I did. But I just... I don't... I'm just gonna try to you know, make sure we don't lose top here. Can you, like, fuck off? That would be great, Kalfas. I don't think you've actually left top lane. No, oh, that's wrong. I've seen you in mid. What the f- Okay. Um, I'm, I'm releasing? There we go. That time it worked. Oh my god. Does he have the conve- Oh fuck, he's got convection. Damn it. So this could be an easy kill here. Depending on how we do it. Oh, okay, here we go, here we go. There's a slow, that's a kill on Rainer. I'm gonna heal myself. Well, with that region, we pretty much back to full health. Uh, we almost have enough for a turn in. Come sieging down the uh, sippy cup of the top fort. We are so close for a turn in. I'm gonna help push top out. We are level 16. I'm going to pick up Ferocity. Increases Berserk uh, attack speed bonus. This should be a free tower as well. I'm gonna actually gonna just try pushing the fuck out of this. I do need to be careful. I don't. Oh, I should have Velvet in. Shit. Building solo and boss. Then bro, back off. That's it. I'll take a bit. Then stop tanking. I can't believe we just took boss while the objective was up. What the fuck? How did they not notice that? Because boss, the boss icon usually disappears when the objective starts. And the Hyperion's down. I'm just gonna push with this. Take this tower out. Like, looks like the enemy team isn't really focusing on this too much. I'm gonna get the uh, wave pushing with it. Looks like Kael'thas has now responded to it. I don't know if Kerrigan has. I don't see your mid anymore. So I'll take these gems and now I'm gonna take my leave. Bye. You tried. I'm dead as shit. Or am I? Fuck you! Oh, boss, please. Boss, please. Yes! Damn you, boss! Damn you! You almost! He's right there! Just, uh... Damn you, boss. At least, thank you. You took out a sippy. You know what? You didn't get the kill. That's fine. You took out their sippy. That's what, you know... You, you destroyed them. You defeated them, you know, emotionally and morally. You did, you did good, boss. You did good. Looks like we're slightly turning in in the mid lane. Give us about nine butts into the thing. I am dead, but I did almost take a fucking Zeratul. I took a Kerrigan and almost a Zeratul with me, which is pretty damn impressive considering I had like less than half health. That's the one thing I really love about Zul'jin. It's just like, you think you've got him. You think you fucking killed him. Pops that out and just starts -da 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 -da. He's got one health. Increases his attack speed. Increases his attack damage. You just can't fucking... What the fuck? Why did you think that was a good idea? 
Well, I'm asking the same thing to a Illidan that's still a boss where we had an objective up. I don't think good ideas run in this game. What is this? Is this Asbidane trying to bait himself? What the? He's just dead. Like, what's, what, what's the game plan here, man? I'm getting away from everybody so I don't spread the bomb. That you should always do. Fuck. No, no, it was just Kerrigan. Not that tough. Just should be squishy. I'm here myself, and then I'll work on this one. Wave. It's their tool. Hi, Rainer. Hey, Chrome, you wanna. I was gonna say hit him, but now I'm gonna say land a skill shot. Okay, there you go. There you go. You redeemed yourself. I appreciate you now. At level 20, we're going to pick up a Mighty Resilience. Tazdingo restores health. Uh, Tazdingo, when Tazdingo ends, Zul'jin heals for 50% of the damage he dealt during Tazdingo. So the more damage I deal while my ulti is up and I'm not dying, the more I get healed for. Which is absolutely fucking insane once you think about it. Considering I can almost kill two... You know, depending on the, who tries to fight me, I can almost kill two whole people here. Rip. I don't know what Zeratul was doing or why he was even revealed right there, but he's dead now. I'm just gonna casually push this against the fucking wave. You know, like you do. Because fuck this enemy in the web weaver push. You wanna do something about it? You wanna do something about it? That's what I thought. Uh, you need to be very careful here. But he's dead. Murky's not paying attention. I think he's AFK. We got a decent push going mid. Okay. Rainer's almost dead. This could be scary. Oh, hi. You wanna fight about it? Hmm. Bye! Yeah, right there's a perfect example where I restored no health because I barely did any damage. And And then we're gonna rejuvenate. I don't. Is there a talent for rejuvenate? At all? Uh, forest medicine. Yeah, he only gets Troll's Blood. Regeneration heals more. So there's only two talents for his E. And generally, you kind of want to pick up his damage talent so he, you know his damage actually is substantial. So it's kind of interesting. You can kind of choose to give yourself self sustain, but it's kind of difficult to. I'm just gonna casually. Ooh. This monkey's not here. I guess the monkey gave up. I'm dead. But it was worth it. Traded a kill for a kill. Makes sense. I thought I was you know, not seeing Murky in fights. Either he AFK'd out of rage or he just had something to do. Asmodan almost 1v1ing Zeratul right there. He's got 23 butts needs to turn in so we can get a uh, web weaver push. And honestly, that could be game with a decent enough push. Honestly, with the siege camp bottom, a uh, web weaver turn in and me coming back in about 38 seconds, I think that could be game. If we don't fuck up. And it's really easy to fuck up. Uh, let's see. Looks like most of the enemy team is in mid lane. Chromie getting that blind fucking Q. Or Zeratul just being out of position. Or both. A little bit of both. It looks like they're not. Ta oh, God. It looks like they're not worrying too much about. Oh, nope, there's Kerrigan. Kerrigan knows. But, uh. Is it too late? Because I think it is. Rip Kerrigan. Kerrigan responded to the push. Rainer and Kael'thas like, oh no, we gotta defend top. So I'm gonna head bottom. Asmodan pushing top. Trying to draw their attention away from, you know, the impending game over push. The game ending push. Game over, game ending, doesn't matter. Kind of, you know, same difference. This happening bottom lane. Zertul using his void prison to isolate a tracer. And I'm just gonna fucking go push bottom. Looks like we're also pushing mid. We take out Zeratul. We do lose Illidan, but that's okay. It's okay. I'm just gonna go focus the core now. Peace. Oh, hi, Rainer. Okay. Fuck off. Thank you. I'm gonna go ahead and activate my passive. Throw my Q. Start doing more damage. No. Rainer, I have all. Fuck off. 
guys? There's a core. Guys? There's a... There's an open core at 43%. What the fuck? Like, I don't generally mean to be salty, but... That was the game right there. What? Are we just fucking around at this point? I... I'm... What? Like, this game should have ended right there. Why is Asmodee wanting to do boss? Get this Kerrigan, though. Oh, he's overextending. Why are we so focused on the objective right now? On objectives right now? Like, minions of, like, why, why didn't we just end? I brought the... I helped bring the core down to over, below half. And yeah, we're wanting to get boss? We could have ended with the... I don't know. The more I think about it, the more it hurts my head. So I'm just going to stop thinking about it. I, I don't know what the fuck this team is doing. Apparently Crummy's on the way to boss. Whatever, I mean, we can do it. I don't think it's a good idea, but, you know, whatever. I have to work with the team, and the team, I guess, didn't want to end. I was hoping that I could do it, but I guess not. Uh, we picked up our Blazer Camp. Illidan's hunting Kale Th Ooh, there's a rainbow over here. There was a rainbow over here. Uh, how you doing? My name's Lil Jim. Bye. Oh, that ca Oh my god, that last shot counted? We can end right here, right now. I'm gonna go mid. Well, they're not paying attention. I've got Taz Dingo. I'm just gonna go end this game myself. I'm sorry. But there's no reason why we shouldn't end. Oh, oh no. Kerrigan, whatever shall I do? Oh, hi. Oh my god, are you fucking serious? Seriously, just just hit the core. They have barely any way of so why are we focusing kills here? Like Asvidin's got the right idea with that red spaghetti. His palms aren't sweaty. He's got that red spaghetti. GG. And that is a win for the friendly team. And I'm and kind of an interesting look into the newest character, Zul Jin. Or maybe not an interesting look, but a look into him. I think he's a very fun character, but is very susceptible to CC. So susceptible. If you don't have a and if you don't have a healer, he can also have a little trouble. I think if you don't have a healer, you you can be alright if your positioning's good. But oh man, I didn't even make it to the score screen, but everybody else did. Feels bad, man. Um but if the team has a lot of CC, like if I would have gotten caught in the Void Prison, had Raider got the Q and the Stun, you know, the Kerrigan combo. Uh, I'm trying to think of who else was on their team. Murky's Octo Grab. Or uh, his, the slow on his slime. I, it's generally difficult for me to kind of deal with that. So when you're caught in CC or somewhere along the lines of that, it is difficult for the character to thrive. But otherwise, if you've got a healer or you've got somebody that can cleanse, if you've got a healer that can cleanse you, or if your positioning is just good, he is an extremely fun character and a very tough character to kill. So thank you all for joining me. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and as always, everyone, have a great day.